happy Thursday. It is a live chat again today. It is also Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody that celebrates. If you don't celebrate, well, tough luck. Share the love, say happy Valentine's Day to someone and show them that you care. Um, it's been another great week at High Reps. Uh, we have brought back our member of the month. So member of the month goes to someone that shows um, initiative in regards to their training, their health, their fitness, uh, comes to classes regularly, puts in an awesome effort, is willing to um, try new things or increase their weight in regards to uh, strength or push the boundaries in their training and has a positive attitude. So this week, uh, sorry, this month, sorry, January, we're in February, January's member of the month is um, our awesome member, Joe Warner. So hopefully Joe doesn't mind me saying, you know, um, happy member of the month. But um, we gave her her award last night, so that's pretty exciting. We're pretty chuffed, she's awesome. Uh, she's been with us for seven or so years now and she's absolutely killing it at training. Um, if you've been following us this week, uh, yesterday we announced that we are bringing in a, a kids fitness uh, holiday clinic. So that's going to run over two days in the first week of the school holidays. There is a lot of information that we've put out there. We've sent it out to our parents. Um, if you are interested in finding out in some more information about that kids clinic, be sure to comment below or shoot over to our website and you can find the information there or you can find a contact us form and we can uh, shoot you through that information. So uh, today we are talking about sleep. So question is how much sleep did you get last night? Um, comment below so that I know, so we can see how much sleep everyone is getting. Uh, for me, I got six hours and 10 minutes if I fell asleep as soon as I set my alarm last night. So according to the experts, that is not enough for an adult. Um, I know everyone's different in regards to their, their hours or their work or, or things like that, but experts suggest that uh, ages three to five years should be getting around 10 hours sleep a night. I wish I was that age. I wish I could get that much sleep. Uh, six to 13 years, so our sort of main teenagers, sort of adolescents and kids, should be getting nine to 11 hours of sleep. Uh, ages 14 to 17, they should be pushing about eight to 10 hours. And for adults, we should be getting seven to nine hours. Does anyone get that much sleep? Um, if you do, I'm very jealous. I wish I could get that much sleep. I average on uh, most nights, maybe about sevens, but um, on my early morning starts, it's five and a half, six if I'm lucky. Um, so good quality sleep is directed, um, sorry, good quality sleep, it directly affects our physical and mental health. Um, and the quality of our waking life. So things in regards to our productivity, our emotional balance. So I know um, if I don't get enough sleep, I can sometimes be grumpy. So that's not fun for anyone that's around. Uh, brain and heart health, the immune system, our creativity, and even weight. So I know um, a lot of our Project U people, I make them tell me, uh, so make them record their sleep um, each night um, because part of weight loss is sleep. So if we're not getting enough sleep, our bodies aren't resting and we're not able to sort of reach the goals in regards to weight loss. Even um, strength training, if you haven't slept properly and you're trying to hit you know, new heavy weights in your training, sleep pays, plays a vital part in that. So that's why we're talking about sleep today. Um, no other activity delivers so much benefits with so little effort. So that's pretty interesting, you know, um, to not have to put in too much effort and you get all those benefits out of it if we are getting quality sleep. Uh, random fact, did you know that the brain uses more oxygen and glucose while sleeping when awake in some parts of our brain? So that's why sleep is important for our brain function. Um, so if you struggle with sleep, or um, maybe need some tips in regards to improving your sleep, I uh, thought I would write down, I've written, written down a few today and I thought I'd share them with you. So um, the first one is a 
is to get um, increase your daylight exposure. So during daytime, trying to get outdoors and increasing your direct sunlight. Um, obviously, slip, slop and slap with sunscreen and all that. Um, but it actually, um, the natural light improves your energy throughout the day and helps you sleep better. Uh, one that we have been telling our younger kids, our teens, um, to reduce blue light exposure of night. So that's anything in regards to TVs, tablets, computers, iPads, phones, all that sort of stuff. Um, that blue light, it makes our bodies think that it is still daylight and hence why we can't sleep when we go to bed. So a good suggestion would be 30 minutes to 60 minutes before bed to sort of turn off the TVs and all the tablets and electronics and let your body just relax before you actually jump into bed. Um, caffeine is another one. So if you're someone that um, gets that buzz with the coffees, um, make sure that you're not drinking them too late in the afternoon because that is also going to affect how you sleep and settle down at night. There's natural supplements, things like lavender and magnesium are really good in helping the body relax um, to help you fall asleep at night. Uh, relax and clear your mind. So it's a big thing now is uh, meditation and things like that. I know there's a few apps out there that um, help you sort of calm your body, um, help you talk you through breathing and things like that. So I'm sure you can find them on uh, like you your app stores and things like that, that's always a good suggestion if you do struggle with getting uh, good quality sleep or even just relaxing before bed so that you get a good night's sleep. Uh, exercise, so obviously, again, it's a big part of what we do at High Oats, but exercise is um, a science-based way to improve your, your sleep and your health, and it can reduce symptoms of insomnia. So exercise is always good, I know after a workout, um, you know, especially sort of in the evening, you go home and you're just completely exhausted. So it's a great way to get that good quality sleep at night. Bottom line, guys, sleep plays a key role in your health. So making sure that sleep is part of your daily, um, daily, you know, making sure that you get good quality sleep. So that everything else in your day functions well. So, you know, if you are looking in regards to sort of a weight loss or even a mood enhancer type thing, not having a good night's sleep is going to affect you throughout the day, your productivity and how you react to people and things like that. So make sure that you are getting some good quality sleep. If you enjoyed this, remember to like it and share it. Um, I'll come back to you next week with another live, um, but just to touch base, um, our active kids, we have encouraged them this week to uh, record how much sleep they're getting each night. Um, so hopefully they're clocking up those hours and hopefully they're not as grumpy as they might usually be with little to no sleep. Um, but if you like this, as I said, give us a thumbs up or comment below. Uh, look forward to hearing from you all. Um, if you want any more information on um, any of these tips that I've spoken about today or anything else that we do at High Reps, be sure to either comment below or shoot over to our website and we will get in touch with you. Have a great one, guys, and happy Valentine's Day. See ya.